Got a weird question for you. I'm in a bachelorette party, and we're doing a scavenger hunt, and I need a picture of... Wait, why are you grinding on me like that? You need a selfie of a guy giving you a lap dance, right? I've done this at least eight times. No, I just needed a picture of me doing a shot. Oh, so should I stop, or... What can I get you? Drunk barbarians. Welcome to episode 56 of the award-winning podcast, Behind Bars, Cocktails, and Wasted Nights. I'm your host, Greg. I've been working as a bartender for over 20 years, and over those years, I've seen a lot. My goal here is to share some of those high and low lights with you. Quick warning, this podcast contains sex, drugs, and some language that isn't suitable for anyone under 21 years of age, so you gotta have some ID. For this one, I interviewed Rick Bryan, a regular on my comedy shows. Guy's hilarious, handy, and he's got that thing about him that makes me think he's going to take some giant leaps forward in this business we call show. He's high energy, high IQ, and mostly just high. With a catchphrase like, don't be dumb, Rick likes to observe and call out the idiots in our little terrarium, and that's mostly because he spent the first half of his life being dumb. But I'll let him tell you all about that. Notice how high we are around 22 minutes when we have no memory of what we were talking about and feel free to have a laugh at our expense. Okay, before we get started, you'll need a drink. For this one, I asked Rick for his favorite cocktail. Pretty basic here, folks. It's called the, what else? Don't be dumb. Grab a Collins glass or half-empty Snapple bottle, depending on where you are on the etiquette scale. Pour an ounce and a half of 1800 coconut tequila over ice and topped with unsweetened iced tea. Drink up and smarten up. And as always, if you don't have 1800 coconut tequila or unsweetened iced tea handy, line up a dragon tail, exhale, flare and stretch the nostrils for air powder intake and prepare for takeoff. Then chase that Peruvian marching powder with some Jalisco happiness and settle in for the listen. Okay, barbarians, here's Rick Romit er, Rick Bryan. All right, barbarians, welcome. To episode 56, the night I interviewed comedian Rick Bryan. Rick, welcome to the shizzy in the closet studio. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> I'm doing it, buddy. This is wild. Yeah, it's hilarious. <laughs> I know. You know, the uh, the Spreaker budge doesn't give me the amount I need to... Uh, i got to pay you comedians. Otherwise, I'd, you know... 56, huh? You've had 56 people in here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 56 people have seen all the clothes I don't wear just sitting here. It's like the sweater your mom buys you. You got to wear it when you see her. You know what I mean? So I got to keep the shit. I like how you turn it into a studio and said, oh, I still will be utilizing this closet as a closet. Yeah, I'm a a very utilitarian. I'm very Spartan. You know what I mean? I just take a little bit and make a lot out of it. Hey, man, this entertainment shit takes me everywhere, you know? Dirty laundry, wherever... (laughs) <laughs> Dirty laundry. Most of this shit's clean except for what's on the floor. Most of the, I got to let man. I love you, buddy. I <laughs> love you too. From the homemade stages in the comedy to podcasting in the closet. Well, I eventually got a good stage. It just took a couple years. So, you know, the studio's next. I'll anyway, you. how the I fuck are you, buddy? You bust your balls, oh, yeah, balls busted. <laughs> this guy busts my balls. Like, he complains about my stage and how much I pay him all the oh, time. Oh, I didn't even do that. You know, I was, as soon as it came out of my mouth, I was like, oh, Rick. <laughs> no, it's hilarious. <laughs> I enjoy it, Rick. When yeah. you're talking shit, you know, you're just talking yeah. shit, baby. It comes out. Yeah, it just, it, like, you wouldn't talk shit if you didn't like me. Exactly. Yeah. They, oh, when I met, you know, Dickie Bill Wagner? I don't. Well, okay. Well, he was doing comedy whew, probably about 10 years ago now. Uh, maybe been out of it for about four. Um, but, uh, when I met him, he's like, I don't know, man, you were sort of a dick. And I was like, what do you mean? He's like, you kept telling me I was stupid. I was like, well, yeah, fucker. Cause you were funny, dog. He's like, yeah, but I didn't know that. He goes, I kept, I thought you were calling me stupid. And I was like, oh, hell no. Nah. Cause you, you made me laugh. I was like, dude, you're stupid. Oh. And he got butthurt about and it. And he took it the like, wrong way. Like, yeah, oh, I'm like, like, I like stupid, stupid you. funny. That's yeah. why I was talking shit. Yeah. I didn't fucking like you. I wouldn't have talked to you. And he's been out of comedy four years cause he uh, misinterpreted your insults. Nah, fuck no. Nah, don't be dumb shit. He's so, a good dude. So, Rick, uh, this is Behind Bars, Cocktails, and Wasted Nights. The reason I do the podcast is to let people know who, like, work in offices what the fuck goes on in bars. 
Like we're oh, gonna talk, see, we're when he pay. said behind bars, I thought he meant being locked up. Oh, oh yeah, well, no, you, you got you got stories about that, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. I had to add the cocked tales and wasted nights because there is behind bars podcast about being locked really? up. Yeah, I wonder if those guys podcast like got my number. Shit. I just thought of that now. We might have to change it to cocktails and wasted nights. <laughs> I don't want to hit on me. Shit. <laughs> they're, yeah, they're locked up. Fuck them. Yeah. They'll never find they me in my closet. Yeah, you're yeah, in yeah. your closet. They'll come the, through the apartment. Dude, this is a fucking casino hotel that you live in. <laughs> Nobody's finding where the fuck you live, dog. I know the address. Still can't find where you live. Oh, Shit. Yeah. It's like a maze, dude. Yeah, it's ridiculous. I'm, it's like the fucking MGM grind up in this bitch. So how long have you been doing comedy? Ugh. 14 years now. 14 years. 14 years. But like like you were telling me earlier, you got the kids. Three. And they all lived. They all, as you said in your set. They all survived. <laughs> you did a good <laughs> job. Man. You did a great job. 24, 23, 19. So you're like double duty. You're like triple duty. You got a job. You're doing comedy. You got the kids. Mm-hmm. Kids are gone. Yeah. Now you're going to go uh, pedal to the metal, huh? Daughter's still in the house, so I ain't trying to be just gone. But yeah, I'm trying to be gone. Heard. I mean, I'm just trying to be out, you know, circulate. Just get out there. Yeah, come and go. Come back and forth and not have to worry about it. You, you get out there more. You get out of Colorado, though, right? You tour a little oh, bit? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Where's, yeah. Your, uh, where's your favorite place to go? Uh, Snapper's Comedy Club in Florida was, that was a shit, man. They let me headline that Halloween weekend 2019, and I want, I'm, I definitely want to make my way back down there. Uh, but Laugh Factory in Chicago, that shit was, oh, that was, that was cool. I liked that room. Oh, you did Laugh Factory in Chicago? The hell yeah, dog. Shit. Yeah, that room was, they, I featured on a Sunday. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Uh, that was when Dick Black was doing comedy. How, uh, how did that go? I was so nervous. It went good, but I was so nervous, I threw up after the show. Whoa. Was it coming up during your set? No. Just went away, but then after. I called my lady afterwards, I was like, that was so fucking fun, I was like, I'm going to throw up. And she's like, what? And I was like, I don't know what's happening right now. My nerves are getting. And she goes, go outside. And I went outside. And I said, oh, there's so many people out here. There was thousands of fucking oh, people God. out there in Chicago. I was like, fuck. Ran back in through the lobby to the, the bathroom. The clock's ticking. And I fucking threw up. I, I don't know. It was the weirdest thing, dude. Holy shit, I man. was just nerves. Just that excited. that it, it, it didn't go bad. It went well. That's awesome. I did 20 man. minutes on the Laugh Factory stage. It just it wasn't a packed house. So, you know, it's that kind of feel. I was just, like, hoping that somebody saw me, that I could come back type shit. I, it, but afterwards, it was wild, man. I threw up afterwards. So I'm not going to say the name of the club, and I'm not going to say the city I was in. Mm-hmm. But I was invited back. And then uh, we un- ended up, like, hanging out, just fucking partying, blowing lines, drinking until, like, 4 in the morning with the manager. Yeah. He's like, dude, you're great. Like, you know, when I have you back, like, open for somebody big. Like, national was torn. Like, that was good shit. I'm like, Great. The chick I was with ends up fucking laughing her ass off as we're all leaving. I'm like, why are you laughing? She opens up her coat. She stole a fucking brand new bottle of Patron from the place. The guy could see it. Oh, I'm God. like, oh, Jesus Christ. And we get in our Uber. I have no time to like straighten it all out. And I was just like, I, what am I going to say? Oh, she stole this or like whatever. Oh, I'm just like, and so sucks. he never answered my email. I'm like, you bitch. But also we had a great time in the hotel with that. So it was fine. Damn, dude. Yeah. Fuck that bitch. <laughs> that sucks. Though. It was hilarious though. She's a maniac. Anyway. Um, so Florida Snappers. What's up with the comedy club names, by the way? You know what I mean? Like Loser. Zanies. Yeah. Like, fucking Loonies. And bananas. bananas. Yeah, yeah. They're, all... <laughs> <laughs> they're ridiculous. They give you a check with fruit on it, you know? And then when you go to the improv and you're working the improv, you're like, yeah, I'm at the improv. Oh, you do improv? No, motherfucker. Yeah, no. work at the, the oldest comedy club in the goddamn country. Yeah, and everybody. Thinks you're everybody. Doing improv. Yes. Who's your uh, top three? You got a top three? It always changes. Right now, it's Tom Segura. I'm lost in the fucking Burt Kreischer universe. He's not my top comedian, but he is a comedian that's top on my list of watching motherfuckers right now. Uh, I mean, and Dana Carvey's always been a Dude, big... did you see the single white male 60, his latest uh, special? Yeah. Dude, that's amazing. When he, makes one of the, when he makes one of the millennials. Yeah. Or, oh, God. Like, oh, so yeah. yeah I does mean, all his impressions. Yeah, but he is coming at it from an old man. Hey, hey, get to, get off my lawn, type yeah, oh, yeah, thing. You know, but he's always he influenced me when I w- was little. Just like the SNL stuff. Not thinking of yeah, hell yeah, just watching him go. You know, not knowing what I'm watching, but watching and going. Those guys are fucking around. They're playing. Oh yeah, while yeah. everybody else is working. Yeah, uh, what did I hear the other day? Uh, he who does not play becomes old quickly. 
Yeah. Well, I, actually, uh, I had Chinese. That was in my fortune. I've been oh, waiting yeah. to use it all day. <laughs> all work and no play. <laughs> Um, so you've been around, you've been in these clubs, you've been in and out. Uh, have you seen some weird shit that goes on in these clubs with the drunk people, like hecklers, people getting tossed, like any sex in the champagne room, like no, any no kind of weird sex shit? In the champagne, there's no sex in the champagne. There's room. no fucking champagne in the comedy club. <laughs> uh, probably the heckler that got handled by. Uh, Jamie Kennedy at the Comedy Works. That was pretty interesting. But I don't know. Jamie Kennedy was acting like a little bitch, too. So kind of brought it on himself. Well, <clears throat> yeah, man. He made it like a game out of kicking people out of the fucking show. Like singing them out. Like, nah, 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 nah. Oh, hey. And had the whole audience. We do it when we play poker. You know, motherfucker gets out. We're like, ah, nah, nah. And we know. It's making it even worse. Yeah. So he was doing. It got to where he kicked like a dozen people out of his fucking show. Whoa. But then he went in on this, this chick. She was She wasn't fine, but. You know, she was high. She was high maintenance. Okay, so she high was, and you know, high maintenance. Yes, yeah, all day. Yes, coked out. Fucking then her man was all steroided out, and uh, Jamie Kennedy started going at him, and <clears throat> I can't remember what happened. He said something, and then Jamie's like, "You fucking paid." To talk shit to me, you pay this money. He goes, I don't give a fuck about the money. He goes, I got more money than you, motherfucker. And he goes, "Fuck you," and starts throwing hundreds. Uh, Jamie. And Jamie picks that shit up, puts it in his oh, pocket, yeah, they absolutely. kick him out, and then I go to the bathroom, and he's like, he fucking stole money from me. I was like, no, he did it for no, you. He threw it at him. <laughs> oh, man, that's hilarious. <laughs> so it was funny to see that, but to watch Jamie do that, I was like, that's not comedy. You're just being a little bitch. Right. You're, you're instigating the just crowd. Just using the power of the, the power. mic. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I love it when you get them in the palm of your hand. There's no better feeling. There's no better feeling. I mean, it's great. Like, my wife even points it out. She's like, they're listening to you. Oh, yeah. And I'm like, what? She's like, no. Even if even when, like you feel like you need laugh, 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 she goes, they are fully listening to you. That room goes silent. It's like watching children listen to teach a teacher talk. She's like, it's crazy. And then you hit them, boom, and then they just start laughing. She goes, it's crazy. You have their full-blown attention. Yeah, you have like a really high-energy style, and it's like rapid-fire shit. So it's like even after... People have seen four or five comedians. They've been laughing. They've been drinking. They're tired. So you're up against it when you oh, come yeah. on. And then you you fucking get everybody. It feels great. You bring them all back. It's yeah. awesome. I told her before, I'm like, what's different in this room? She's like, what? I said, when we got here, everybody was doing their own thing. little conversation. Except during my set, of course. (laughs) (laughs) No, I'm saying when you first walk in, everybody's doing their own little thing. They're not coming together. They're not laughing as one, you know, and they're not, their energy is not as high in the room. And then when I get, do what I do, I get off stage, it's it's like a fucking Care Bear or some shit. I'm just shooting out fucking laughter. <laughs> there. You can feel the energy when I get off. Man, motherfuckers are hyped up. They're excited. And I'm like, I'm the fucking thing that changed in here. Yeah, no. And it's, that is it's, weird. You have the electricity. Like I was telling you earlier, there's like, I can count on one hand comics in Denver that I know of anyway, that yeah. I've seen, who have that electricity. It's contagious, man. You got it. But it's nerve-wracking. Oh, absolutely. Because it's like, you know you're supposed to be the life of the party. How the fuck do you just become the life of the party? Especially if you're not just getting loaded. You know what I'm saying? Like, Bert Kreischer is the life of the party. Yeah. Because he is partying, like, he's the life of the fucking party. I always say about him, like, I think he's hilarious. But <laughs> as, as, like, a, as a pure, whatever you want to call it, comic... Uh, but, like, the guy I want to hang out with at every party and every cookout him. is him. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. a party guy. That's what I was afraid of when I got into comedy. I'm like, how do I do this without doing it? Yeah, especially if you're going up later. Yeah. Because you're sitting you, there drinking. Like, uh, what are you going to do? You got to sip. You got to really just hang out. That's why I started doing tequila and iced tea. That way I'm like, just give me an iced tea. Bring, keep the iced teas coming. Right. And I mean, you know, one shot of tequila and I've had, like, four iced teas. Yeah, because if you get hammered, it's not going to go well. You look dumb. Yeah. You know, you, you, say you start slurring. You, yeah. You're not thinking. And I'm sharp. There's you know? a comedian I won't name who came into one of my shows, and like the comic that was on at the time was bombing. He's like, Psh, put me up. I'll save this. Because he was so drunk and being arrogant. I'm like, mm-hmm. okay, mm-hmm. I'll put you up there for five minutes, because that's all I could tolerate him bombing, if I knew it was going to Yeah, gonna he happen. won't shut up. He yeah. will keep going, whether he's bombing or not. Oh, no. He he was embarrassed. Good. He was embarrassed two minutes into it, and he felt he knew he made a mistake. It's not easy, man. It's it's not the funny. Funny is not the easy. That's not the hard part. Being funny is the easiest fucking part of comedy. It is 
all eyes on you. It is, there's nobody talking. It's a one-way fucking conversation. People are like, you're high? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Goddamn right I'm high. This is weird. Yeah, this is a weird situation. Like, yeah, these guys it's aren't me and allowed. a microphone. Yeah, if they start talking, they're not supposed to. Like, it's just me talking one way. Yeah, I'm high. I'm fucking high as shit. You're crazy as fuck. What yeah, we're you, doing is wild. Yeah, it's a weird thing, man. Huh? Uh, so, how did the Florida thing come about, by the way? You're based uh, in Denver. I'm a handyman. Okay. I own my own handyman business. I respect that, because I can't build or fix anything, dude. I can fix everything, and I've... I have, my house I have, I have completed everything that I was told to build. I've built it. That's so. awesome, dude. I'll hang out with you if the shit hits the fan. Oh, yeah, no, I can build it. Uh, not only can I build a fucking spot, I know how to live in the wild. Like, when I was 16, they threw me in the Utah desert. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm uh, doing an interview with Rambo. <laughs> Brian. <laughs> you stupid fool. <laughs> <laughs> Now, when I, I was a juvenile, I kept getting in trouble. I was locked up from like 14 to 18, off and on. So, wait, you're saying you were behind bars? I'm telling you, that's oh, what I said. I man. thought this was called behind bars. You know, this I love it. And uh, it's called AYA, Aspen Youth Alternatives. And they take uh, inner city kids and take them to the middle of fucking nowhere and literally teach them how to live. We were drinking out of the streams. You got to put iodine drops in it so you Purify. didn't get the shit. Yep. And if you put too many drops in it, you got the shit. Yeah, you got it the was fucked house. up. Wow, dude. So, yeah, the apocalypse hits, dog. I got I got me. <laughs> we had uh, Outward Bound on the East Coast. That's what the same thing was. I know about Outward Bound. Yeah. This is a step up from oh, Outward Bound. Yeah, because like, we went out. There's no tents. It's a tarp. And the same tarp they give you to make your backpack to put your shit in to hold is the tarp that they, you have to figure out how to set up to, for shelter. And it was from December 1st to January 29th, and it was sleet snowed. I don't give a fuck if it's desert or not. Desert gets freezing cold, and At it night. snows. It fucking snows. It snowed during the day. It snowed for three days straight. We Holy cried. Shit. We cried. And oh, I bet. Our, we were frozen. They don't take you in. You got to complete all the courses. Two people died. Two kids died. Hmm. Maybe probably about 2015. Maybe. Wow. Welcome to the comedy podcast, everybody. Dude, I was the fourth group to go out. Wow! Like I was a test monkey group. Well, those kids learned their lesson, didn't they? Dude, I learned mine. They they were, yeah, yeah, those guys ain't doing shit. Never again. So you haven't been in trouble since that? Yeah, don't be dumb. <laughs> Just no one's gonna put you in a desert. That time. was the beginning of trouble, fool. Oh, Hell shit. no, shit. That was sixteen. Now I learned I, how to escape the authorities and out outlast them in the wild. <laughs> after that, they threw me in a group home for a year and a half. Oh shit! And then I turned eighteen, so then I started going to regular jail. <laughs> started going to regular jail. Almost every county we have here, dude. Dude, and I'm not like robbing people or nothing. Yeah, what are you getting up about. to? That like, like driving with no license, driving with no insurance type of shit, and not getting pulled over because I don't got. Uh, plates, no uh, lights because of how I looked. I oh. was younger and I was driving a Thunderbird. I was brown and yeah. I got pulled over and next thing you know, because I even asked him, I said, what I get pulled over for? Uh, no proof insurance. <laughs> how did you know until you pulled me over? What did you pull me yeah, over? you got x-ray vision looking at my glove box. Yeah. So I got caught in that trap and uh, then I got in the system. Yep. And then I got in a high speed chase uh, when I was 20. Oh, shit. What, do you have shit in the car? Don't was, be dumb. Uh, yeah, dog. I had fucking weed. Uh, no, I didn't have, like, cocaine. I just had weed and uh, alcohol, but weed was illegal, and I was tired of going to jail. Shit, dude. And so I was like, fuck it, catch me. Well, I didn't go to jail. I, I went to prison. Oh, God. How long did the uh, chase go on for? Oh, they didn't catch me till like, five hours later? Holy four shit, Four hours, maybe, maybe four hours. Wow, how long did that translate into prison time? I was facing 10 to 32. Oh, my God. And then they couldn't get me on first degree assault and a police officer, so they gave me nine for every... They gave me a year for every other charge they could rack up. And did you... How much of that did you do? One, I did boot camp. Then I oh, then I went to the... Went to boot prison boot camp. No, no, the fucking desert was I was 16. Oh, that's right. Okay, so this is so No, I've already been prepped for boot, boot camp, camp a little easy bit. easy after... Yeah, I was no, going to say. Oh, man. It, I mean... The fact that they had me hiking 10 to 15 miles a day in the desert when I was younger helped. Yeah, definitely helped being able to run in boot camp, but nah, nothing prepares you for boot camp, man. It's fucked up. Prison boot camp is fucked up. I have nightmares to this day. That was 25 fucking years ago. Lawsuit. Like, 45? Yeah. Lawsuit. 
What are, uh, are you traumatized by going to prison boot camp? <laughs> Call us. <laughs> the offices of James Sokoloff and affiliates. You might be part of a <laughs> nationwide. Did the prison boot camp give you mesothelioma? I, 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 you drank from the river. What is that? <laughs> the iodine room? No, they have. Uh, there is a thing going around right now. Camp Lejeune. Oh, Did you yeah. drink from the water at Camp Lejeune? Why am I getting that email? You're getting it too? Yeah, oh, okay. it's, I it's on all the commercials during the day. If you don't go to work on time, you hear about it. Oh, shit, <laughs> so, dude. Yeah, that's why I don't watch TV, dude. I just don't. <laughs> oh, no. Fuck. Cable. They try. I'm, uh, I just got my phone switched over to Xfinity. Yep. They tried. And I couldn't be happier with Xfinity. We'll see about this. <laughs> Dude, I cut the cord a long time ago because, like, oh, no cable for me. Yeah. They tried to let me with it, and I was like, it'll only be another 172 I said, man, what the fuck? Fuck you, $172 yeah. to watch TV? To, to watch a show that when commercials come on, you're like, what the shit was I just watching? I pay the extra on Hulu. It's, oh, dude, I do get too high for oh, that. I'm like, yeah. what am I even watching? What right was now? I watching? My lady's like, are you serious? Are you serious? You don't know what you're watching right now? I'm like, Fuck, that no, happens to me and, I and then it comes weird. on and I'm like, oh yeah, 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 and I was watching this. <laughs> Real Housewives, oh thank God. See, people tell me that all the time, man. They're like, oh, I don't remember this or that, and I'm like, and you don't smoke weed. See, see it's not the weed. It's not the weed, dude. It's just, <laughs> well, I had an older brother in some bunk beds, mm. so a lot of head injuries. So that's what I, I know all about that, too. Yeah, shit. Um... Okay, wow. So comedy podcast, we got a lot of prison, we got some uh <laughs> some boot camp, we got some fucking desert places. living. Yes. Uh so I'm guessing that you never took the family camping. Oh, uh, not really. Yeah. I no, guess, why because not? it was a punishment for me. I even told him I said, I'm sorry. It, it this sucks. You yeah, know, I, I don't do like it. being out here. This <laughs> fucking sucks. It brings for it me. all back, dude. Yes, man. A hundred percent. I don't like it either. I listen to a lot of true crime. A lot of people get murdered in tents. You got the animal attacks anyway. What's the point? You're I don't listen to that true crime who, shit. Who man. gets into like just I'm gonna go sleep outside in the woods? What be the homeless. Fuck? I gotta pay twenty one fifty to stay inside, but I can be homeless right now. Fuck all that shit. I think they should call it home often. Yeah. Thank you. I'll be here all night. Yeah. Try the steak, it's fantastic. That's all right. That's all right. I'll keep waka, it. Waka waka. <laughs> <laughs> waka waka don't hold back alright uh, best what hold on you asked me something that took us down that yellow brick road oh what you were doing to get in trouble I think no, no. it had nothing to do with getting in trouble it took us to the desert shit you said something about the apocalypse I ended up going there but you asked me oh I was saying like if the apocalypse hit then you could build See? shit I'm, I'm hanging with you dude yeah but there was something you asked me fuck if only there was some way we could go back I was gonna ask it's more fun to listen to us trying nah, to figure nah, it out good. what the fun. shit were we just saying let's move along alright let's move along <laughs> yeah. alright moving along alright I love when you do a uh, white guy impersonation that's pretty <laughs> hilarious that's just the Brian side of me <laughs> tonight we have increasing darkness <laughs> <laughs> it's becoming Romero real quick Oh, Romero, right, that's right. coming out. Uh-oh, Booze Werewolf. <laughs> Booze Romero. Here it comes. Is that tequila Bring it out? Yeah, Romero does come out. Yeah, my boss will come out, too. Well, no, I don't drink enough. Now, dude, when people say they kill, man, I can't handle tequila. What do you mean? It's alcohol. Yeah. Fuck well, off. last time I did, I drank three bottles. What the fuck? Don't you, be dumb. Yeah, drink three bottles of gin. I'm having, an asshole. I'm having three to five fucking shots, maybe. And if I'm having five shots, that's, we're, that's too many. We're getting into the too many range. Motherfuckers drinking pints and fucking nah. You, don't be dumb. It's so funny, dude. Like, I can't really drink unless I'm working. No, oh, come on. I can plow some shots, dude. Nah, see. Like I'm, a lot. I, I was a Budweiser, man. I could drink a 20 pack. Dude, that's that's insane. It was retarded. Because beer, that's a lot. Oh, I know. Shots I was growing increasingly, man. Like I've been losing this shit in the <laughs> yeah, last dude, couple good, years. Man. I'm on the Fatkins diet. Yeah, no, I'm not. Fucking, I'm eating once a day. Dude. Waka waka. Yeah. What was I gonna say? Oh, uh, fuck. What was I gonna say? We did it again. <laughs> I am getting contact <laughs> high off you. <laughs> you want to brought me in the closet, fucker. <laughs> I'm in the prison. If we get trapped in here, you're fucked. Oh, God. No, <laughs> Come on. I'll give you cigarettes in exchange for protection. I don't smoke. Uh, <laughs> God damn it. I'll figure something out. You better have some ramens, motherfucker. I'm, uh, I have a lot of diseases. How about that? Oh, uh, you nasty son of a bitch. Yeah, there we go. That's how you get out of it. Yeah. That's how you get out of it. You're just going to get beat up. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Thank God. Yeah, I wouldn't last a second in prison. There's a lot of people I'd like to fucking... You gotta have get. something to offer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, don't, I wouldn't be able to... Has gas and grass. I'd right. be like, I, I've been studying law. I could help you with your legal... Mm, everybody is in there studying law. Yeah, that's what I would... Be. Oh, damn. All right. Let me think this over before I commit a major crime. Mm. Gotta have a plan. Uh, what was I gonna say? Fuck, what were we talking about, dude? Mm-hmm. All right. Oh, oh. You're I was gonna ask you... No I was gonna ask you your, uh, your worst show. 
Oh. It's got to stand out, right? You must have had like a your worst bomb ever. I, it was open mic time when some lady never just, like in a feature like paid gig. You've never fucked nah. up. Oh wow. yeah, of course I fucked up, but no, nothing to shut me down. Nothing to shut you down. You see how I am. Yeah, no, yeah. If it fucking doesn't work, oh, just me. Okay, fuck it. Anything. I throw the voice out there. Something. Nothing just goes undone. If they don't like the joke, I change the accent. I change the voice. That gets a laugh. Oh. Something gets a laugh. I don't let it just fucking... Oh, man. Even I... if... Say, fuck you. No, bitch. Fuck you. Orale, what the fuck is your problem? And I start talking <laughs> to me. I see right yeah, there. You're you, already laughing. Yeah, you got the weapon. S- yeah. So, I, I, really, honestly, no. In the clubs... I almost passed out on stage. Drunk or just, like, dizzy, nervous, or... Like, not getting enough oxygen. Yeah. Like, I'm talking too fast, and I have to tell myself to shut up and fucking breathe. So I was on the improv at the Denver Improv, and I'm, I don't even know who the hell I'm working with. And I'm just going and going, all of a sudden, everything starts going... Yeah. It starts going black, so it's like a Looney Tunes fucking circle in front of me, and I'm like... Oh no! Don't fucking! Pay. But the whole time I'm saying to myself, "Oh no! Please don't pass out." My mouth is while running. you're telling the jokes. I am the back office is going. The yeah. front office is still doing the job. Those are, I guess, out of body experience I've had on stage because I've had to tell myself on stage, "Get back in there," because I'm over here going, "Oh, don't fucking pass out!" Oh no! What's going to happen? And this is going. The autopilot is running. My mouth is running, and all of a sudden I'm just like, "Breathe." <laughs> That is and the crazy. Everything came back in. I was like, "Whoa, y'all didn't even know what just happened." Yeah, but I didn't say that. Yeah, I you can't explain off. it. It's not gonna be the only other time I freaked out. Like the, uh, that was happening was I was driving down I twenty five. Oh, that's good. And it's I comforting. had a fucking car full of people. Oh God, we were smoking weed, and I hit it too hard, and, and I oxygen. fucking coughed. And everything said it didn't go to the circle. Okay, it went black. Oh God, I'm cruising down the highway black. But I can hear everything. You were like the guy in Metallica, a piece of meat that kept on living. Dude, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> I just <laughs> grabbed a hold of the fucking steering wheel and just, again, deep fucking breath. And then, shoom, everything came back. Wow. And I just looked around and I'm like, y'all don't know, y'all almost just died. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and it's hilarious now. Yeah, uh, but it would have been <laughs> terrible. I would have been to prison. Been I yeah. wouldn't forever. I, I would have killed everybody. You'd be like, hey, what's up, guys? It's uh, good to see you guys again. Dude, everything went black. Dude, I get like that when I smoke weed. You see, do you remember the gravity hit you do in the sink? Yeah, yeah. Out of like the milk carton? Oh, yeah. I do one of those, then I wake up looking at my own reflection in front of the sliding door. Yeah, we had a couple homies that are pussies. Yeah, not pussies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I'm super, I am super good at drugs, just not that one. <laughs> That's I'm the one. super good at weed. <laughs> yeah, you are. Mm-hmm. I can't I can't do it, man. Like I, I did it like I thought I could do it. I went home. I'm in this beach on the lake. And I smoked weed with these people. I'm like, I had to go inside. And I'm inside looking at the ceiling. And the fucking ESPN crawl starts going across the ceiling. He's on. There's not even a fucking TV in the room. And then, like, my buddy's coming. He's like, oh, are you all right? I'm like, you're turning into a cyborg right now. That Off of weed? Off of weed. Nah, I mean, I did shrooms and drank, yeah, too. Yeah, don't be dumb. See? Yeah, no, but it's the weed that brings it out. No, fuck. That's wild. Yeah, it just happens, dude. I just panic, dude. It all happened. Me and my like homies 98. are around each other. It's nonstop. While we're smoking, somebody's rolling, breaking down one to roll up another one. Oh, my God. Like, when we play poker together, our other cousin was like, I don't know what to do. This guy's going to smoke. Like, man, fucking, I got all the windows open. I got an outside table, whatever. But then I look back, I'm like, oh, it's nonstop. We're going nonstop. You're hotboxing it, even with the window open. Yeah, everybody's getting high. I love weed, man. I don't know. That's the only thing that agrees with me. Okay, so, like, the other stuff agrees with me. I always say that. Like, I'll do shrooms to go to sleep. No, fuck no. Yeah. Don't be dumb. No, after I, like, fucking party, I'm like, oh, I got to fucking calm down. I eat a bunch of shrooms. Oh, I'll go to sleep so I don't freak out. Oh, yeah, oh, I'm like, let's yeah. go to bed. So we don't do this. Oh, it's the best dream. <laughs> no, like, that's oh my gosh. I had a dream I was flying with Catwoman, and I was breaking off her costume and eating it like candy. Oh, you fat bastard. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, was, I was hungry and horny, I guess. I don't know. Saving the world. Shit. You're a fool. Uh, you ever do the hallucinogens? Like acid, uh, too like much, that? dog. I know too the, much. Oh, I you know the other side. Okay. Oh no, I you know. been there. Yeah, the you devil don't have to go hung there out again? with me one night, man, oh, and shit. I thought it was a dream. I was like, thank God. Oh my God! I rolled over, and there was a fucking lake of throw. Just oh God! Oh, a lake, not a puddle, not a fucking a lake 
a fucking throw up. My dad's like, clean that fuck. Fuck, no, the, the carpet. Oh, no. Oh, it was, it was just a big old, big old fucking, just a whole round thing. I was like, oh, no. Oh, shit. My dad's like, oh, I was ready to take you to the hospital. I thought you were dead. I, that was, he goes, well, my dad is a bad biker dude. He wasn't no, I was a pussy. You know what I'm saying? Right. Uh, I fucking man up. You want to take them fucking drugs, you man the fuck up. Yeah, do the crime. Do and the all time. I remember was this. Close your eyes and then just for one brief second, whatever you see, that's how it was for me fucking hours doing that guy. Oh, yeah. Shit. It's a journey trip. And I just saw my dad whoa, screaming and then nothing. And then the devil. And I was like, oh, my God, what the fuck is happening? That's dude. where you got to throw on a sitcom and get the studio on. It's I was laughter. It really helps. I was, dude, we watch <laughs> Natural Born Killers. Fucking. No, dude. You're doing all the wrong. Don't be dumb. Don't be dumb. <laughs> hey, man. Man up, mo. <laughs> yeah, watch like fucking Disney or fucking oh, Toy Story trust or something. Me, when I'm doing things by myself, I do do the happy shit. I yeah. definitely watch Disney. I love Disney. Yeah, movies. dude. But nah, when you're with the homies, they're acting dumb. You got to fucking man up. The actual board kill is great idea, we Steve. We were all scared. Oh, yeah, none of us could terrible. get off the fucking ca- the couch, the to chairs. The rev- <laughs> yeah, oh, dude. Oh. Throws, turn it off. Oh, you. Turn it, the yeah. boat's over there. Fuck you. I'm not moving. Oh, dude, I watched like fuck. I watched Valerian in the City of a Thousand Planets tripping my face off on mushrooms during the hailstorm. I was out in the hailstorm experiencing it. Then it started to hurt, so I went inside. <laughs> And I started watching this movie. Dude, Rihanna is all hot, but she's like this bubble alien creature after she goes out of her human... F- anyway, you gotta see it. Check it out, guys. So. I'm about to say, I don't know about this. Oh, it's pretty great. If uh, you're on shrooms, Valerian in the city of I might have been planets. if this motherfucker would have came through. She invited me to his closet to do drugs, and then here I am, drugless. This well, I was fuck. like, we what talked kind of about shit? it, but I didn't know. You were like, oh, I was gonna smoke weed and drink. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. I'm gonna do shrooms, uh, you know. And then, like, I ate the shrooms earlier, and I probably should have saved some. I'll be dead. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, though. No, it's true. All right, Rick, I'm sorry. Uh, I really appreciate you coming in, doing this. Uh, I thought you had some questions. Oh, we did it. We <laughs> talked about your stand-up. Oh, we you talked about prison. No, oh, we did great, dude. It was like fucking half hour. It was fucking awesome. Oh, right on. Um, fuck, dude. Next time I'll have shrooms, we'll have you back for a sequel. I hope you're into that. I'm always down. All right, cool, man. Thanks I for mean, coming in. I mean, this is too easy. Oh, let's get, your, uh, let's get some plugs in. What's your next show? What's your website? What's your Instagram? Let's do all that. I'll put them in the show notes, too, but let's... Uh... I think it's this Friday or Saturday. No, Saturday. I'm going to be at uh, Grandma's house. All right, cool. So for those of you who listen to this podcast on Tuesday, you missed it. Oh, man, you missed my fucking show, you best. <laughs> <laughs> you listen to this shit in March. I'll be in Montrose on August fifth. I'll be at twenty twenty three. Yes, twenty twenty three. When the fuck just come out twenty twenty four? Shit, We're coming out like next week. <laughs> we got time. But. You can see me in Burbank Comedy Festival. I'll be out there in L A. doing my goddamn Looking up, thing. Looking up, getting around, touring yeah, a little yeah. bit, trying, man. Yeah. Flappers. We have Montrose, Utah. I'm getting around. I'm going through. I'm going places. You Look got a website? Rick Brian Comedy. That's B R Y A N. The whitest Mexican you'll ever look up. Uh, Rick Bryan, uh, comedy don't matter. Put a dot com. You got a website. Uh, go to Instagram. It's on there. TikTok, fucking Snapchat. Uh, Google me, bitch. He's also the lead party in the Camp Lejeune lawsuit. Yes. Yeah, so if you drank water from Camp Lejeune, please contact Rick Bryan at rickbryancomedy dot com. That again, that's Camp Lejeune water. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! All right, barbarians. That's Rick. Thanks for listening. Thanks Have a for great night. Me, Doug. Cheers. <laughs> Salut. Well, it's last call, so let me give you a tip. Don't ask me to close your tab because your Uber is already outside waiting for you. Plan ahead, you dolt. As Rick would say, don't be dumb. Folks, it's been a blast. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. And a call to my fellow boo slingers. Send in your stories to cocktailsandwastednights at gmail.com. You can remain anonymous if you'd like. Thanks for listening, subscribing, downloading, and spreading the word. Don't be afraid to give me a good review, even if you're lying. It really does help build our community of barbarians. And check out rickbryancomedy.com. And check out my video, Just Close It, on YouTube. You will laugh, damn it. If you want to support the podcast, you can do that on Patreon. Link is in the show notes. We'll see you next time on Behind Bars, Cocktails, and Wasted Nights. Cheers! Cheers!